Hi, this is a little story about my life. I married a woman in organized crime, didn't know it. Her mother's a godfather. And when that marriage failed because of her mother, they expected me, or rather her mother did, to marry one of their cousins. Since I worked all my life, they figured, why not? I have no rights because I'm not part of their family, even though I did give that family a daughter who was brainwashed at the age of 14. Now, my life has been a horrible mess because of the way they treat people. We belong to them. We have no rights. Uh, I've found out by trying to move away and having a peaceful life that it doesn't work because we live in the United States of organized crime. And that's highly unfortunate. Now I do believe they're the ones who killed Kennedy because of the way they can control my life. I mean, the lawyers, doctors, uh, police officers, housing. Uh, I can't even get a credit rating because they use that to make sure I live in housing run by people in their illegal organization that runs this country. It is horrendous. Because I have no rights, they take it away. Can't see a doctor because these, a lot of these doctors are uh, willing to work with organized crime because they want to keep making money. It's not about the patient. Housing. Well, a lot of senior housing in Seattle is run by organized crime. And that's the way it is. You go to your church, they don't talk about organized crime. Why? Because they are uh, claim they're giving to Caesar. It's organized crime is not Caesar. Organized crime is the devil. And this country has gone to the devil because we have uh, elected officials who are willing to sell out the American people for a dollar. And it's both parties. The Democrats think, I mean, uh, the Republicans think that they won because we wanted the Republicans. No, they won because we want a change. And the Republican Party truly isn't a change. A change is only public monies for elections. A change is, let's get some uh, Supreme Court judges that aren't with organized crime, or attorney generals who uh, don't give people in organized crime a get out of jail ticket by only finding the institution. Let the little people pay so these uh, thieves can get away with robbery. This is the government we have today. And it is highly unfortunate. And I'll keep talking until they steal everything and I can't talk anymore. Or they kill me. Because I don't care about them. They uh, control my life but not all of it, because I am still defiant and refuse to give up.
Well, it's over five minutes, so I guess I'll say goodbye.